In this video we are going to discuss usability heuristics. It's 10 simple rules that will help you to significantly improve your interface. These heuristics were described by Jakob Nielsen 25 years ago. Until this day, they remain the best simple usability checklist. So let's review them now. The first usability heuristics. The system should always keep users informed about what is going on. It should always provide an immediate feedback about the interaction or its status. Avoid the situation when users click on something and nothing happens. Or something happened, but users don't know about it. Users cannot understand what processes are happening in your system if you don't tell them about it. Second usability heuristic. The system should correspond to your user mental models. The design should speak their user language. Use words, phrases and concepts that are familiar to the users, rather than internal jargon. That's how, for example, we got a cart page on e-commerce websites. It's the page where users can collect their products they want to buy. The name cart was taken from the real world so users can understand what this page is about. Next usability heuristics. User control and freedom. Users have to be able to undo the actions they've made by mistake, or fix it in some way. For example, if users can create something, they should also be able to edit or delete it. If they can visit the page, they should be able to leave it. If they can delete something, they should be able to recover it. Interfaces are much more pleasant when they allow users to delete something without any questions and then provide an opportunity to recover it. Not like the first Windows version that were always asking, are you sure you want to delete it? Wait, are you really sure? Of course, in some cases such friction points are necessary. For example, when the action cannot be undone or have big consequences. It would be useful to the Hawaii operator, for example, when they have sent a missile alert to all the residences. But in most cases, it's better to obey the user right away and give the opportunity to undo the action. The next usability heuristics – consistency and standards. Users don't have to wonder whether different words, situations or actions mean the same thing. Follow platform and industry conventions. Be consistent in your design. Your UI should follow the design system. Also, if you design for iOS or Android, follow their design guidelines. The next usability heuristics. Help users not to make mistakes. Eliminate error-prone conditions or check for them and present users with the confirmation options before they commit to the action. For example, if you have a form, validate inputs on Blur. It's when the input stops being active. Also, you can avoid slips by providing helpful constraints and good defaults. Show warnings if the error has high cost, like with the Hawaii example. Next usability heuristics. Don't make users remember anything. Minimize the user's memory load by making elements, actions or options visible. The users should not have to remember information from one part of the interface to another. Information required to use in the design should be visible or easily retrievable where needed. The next usability heuristics. Flexibility and efficiency of use. It's more relevant to the apps rather than websites. If you have both novice and expert users in your app, make shortcuts for expert users. For desktop interfaces it might be hotkeys, and for mobile apps it might be gesture-based interactions. The next usability heuristics. Aesthetics and minimalist design. Easy to say, hard to do. Almost all of our course is about aesthetics. But Jakob Nielsen wanted to have it in his 10 heuristics. Don't put irrelevant information in UI. The next heuristics. Help users recognize, diagnose and recover from errors. Errors are frustrating for the users. To minimize their frustration, we should put as much effort into designing their error experience as we put into the rest of the system. You are, as a designer, responsible that error messages being expressed in a plain language, precisely indicating the problem and constructively suggesting a solution. Users don't have to be lost when they see the error. They have to understand what have happened and what to do next. And the last usability heuristics. 
help and documentation. Some designers think that manuals have to die. Your interface should be intuitive and easy to use. That's certainly what you should aim for, but it doesn't mean users have to be left alone with your interface without any help, especially if your system is complex. For example, now many products are starting to work on their new user experience. It's the experience that a new user gets when visiting the platform. It's also called onboarding. Good onboarding and customer support help to significantly improve conversion rate. Usually, well-designed products with intuitive UI also have a good onboarding that educate users on how to use the system. Start to pay attention to the onboarding when you are using new products. We have learned 10 usability heuristics. First, the system should always keep users informed about what is going on. Second, the system should speak the user's language and match their mental models. Third, Users have to be able to undo the actions they've made by mistake. Fourth, be consistent and follow platform conventions. Fifth, try to prevent user errors. Sixth, minimize the user's memory load by making objects, actions and options visible. Seventh, provide shortcuts. Eighth, aesthetics and minimalist design. Ninth, Help users recognize, diagnose, and recover from errors. Tenth, provide help with your interface. Hey, this was a video from my free UI design course. Make sure to check the full playlist out and hit the like button and subscribe for more free content about design. Mm -hmm.